Now, before this video starts, I would just like to say to you guys that I've noticed not many people who watch my videos are actually subscribed to my channel or even in my Discord. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and obviously join my Discord. Um, I'm not very active in there, but if I get enough mem members, maybe I will be. But anyway, let's get into the video. Hey, what's up guys? And in today's video, we're going to be discussing what I feel like is the worst Ultra Class. And this video is completely in my opinion, so don't take any of this to heart. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright boys, so the first class I'm going to be talking about today is Spy. And I know a lot of you guys know Spy is like one of the worst Ultra Classes in the game. But I just felt like it was necessary to make this video just to explain why it's one of the worst. So... The first reason why Spy is one of the worst Ultra Classes in the game is the fact that Elingit Slash literally does one-tenth of a Wraith Knight's HP bar. It does little to no damage, and the fact is it can't even proc enchants when there's moves like Wraith Knight's little AoE fire move that procs a fire enchant along with their Black Flames that burns you and can kill you. You know, there's stuff like that that's just completely outrageous, and it can't even bro proc an, entrant, an enchant it just it doesn't make any sense and ever since then ever since that one little nerf spies have been constantly getting nerfs left and right and this is just just the first reason why a spy is just such a terrible class along with this elegant slash has a terrible hitbox and the windup is way too fucking predictable and along with this it's so easy to block if you're just used to fighting spies overall elegant slash is just a completely terrible move and the sheer fact, it's like, the sheer fact that Spy is bad is because it's Spy's only move. Just because Elinga Slash is what you rely on to do damage, but it doesn't do that damage. Now the second reason why Spy is the worst Ultra Class is because the Rapier does absolutely little to no damage. I mean, it's like a little toothpick or a nail because, you know, the only good move it has is like a disarming strike. Which, in its own right, it's actually really fucking busted, but if you just... Take, if you just unarm yourself, like if you just take put away your weapon as they're about to use it, it just, you don't get disarmed, you know. So while they hit you with like one or two uh, rapier moves, just put it away. And wow, congratulations, you are not going to get disarmed. And, you know, it's such an easy tactic to master. And that just nullifies the purpose of spy. I know it would be busted if they made it where you can't perfect block or, or they made it where you can't put away your weapon while being put in combos. But... It's like the only thing Rapier really has that makes it good, because otherwise it does no damage. Now once you disarm them, sure, you'll probably be wailing on them if you have a Sapphire Enchant. But otherwise, you know, Spy Rapier itself, it does as much damage or even less damage than a Mithril Sword, you know, and that's just terrible because a Freshie, a literal Freshie can do more damage than you, especially when Hugging and Slash is like your only damaging move. I mean, Elegant Slash itself is only useful against Freshies because it's the, those are the only people who get damaged by it. Now, don't get me wrong. Spy is actually kind of busted with specific combos like, you know, a Shin. You know, you can get at least four hits on somebody, like four total combos with two Elegant Slashes just by having a Shin, you know, with a Shin progression. But when you don't have things like that available to you, it causes a lot of issues because Rapier and Elegant Slash are the only things you can rely on with Spy. And it just, it makes it absolutely, you know, dog shit. Because if those are your only two things that you can rely on, of course people are going to turn towards Tomeless. Because those two things are complete garbage against Ultra Classes. Now moving on, you know, the third reason why it's bad is because the Super Class moves suck. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys didn't see this one coming, but if you really look back at the Super Class Spy, they don't have a single offensive move. Now, some of you may think, oh, well, interrogation is... No, because with interrogation, you can't use it on somebody when they're in combat. Meaning, if you start... If somebody... If one of your friends start off a fight, you can't... That move is completely disabled. You just can't... You, you can't use it anymore. And I'm pretty sure they also made it where you can't even use Wraith anymore while interrogating somebody, making it almost 100% useless. And on top of that... I'm pretty sure you can't even corner Ignis with Interrogate anymore. And, you know, that was the only good combination I had. So, overall, Interrogation is just completely gutted and makes the Super Class completely useless. And I'm pretty sure now a lot of you guys are probably thinking right now, well, this is an Ultra Class video. Why does the Super Class matter? So, well, if you look back, there's classes like Oni, which, you know, rely on a lot of moves. You know, you can use Leg Breaker, Spin Kick, and even Goshiri. I mean, that's essential for an Ultra Oni. 
um, in combos, you know, Deep Knights, they use Chain Pill all the time. They use, uh, what, what is that move called? A Lunge, I think. And they also use Light Piercer. Dragon Slayers, they use Spear Crusher. They use Dragon Blood. There's stuff like this where the, the Ultra class relies on the Super class, or at least can be used. But when Ultra Spy can't use its Super class moves because the Super class moves are practically non existent and do absolutely nothing for it, that's an issue in itself. And I'm not saying that they should go back and work on the super class again. I'm just saying they need a move that makes it where Spy doesn't need to rely on having a good super class when other classes are able to do that, like Oni, Deep Knight, and Dragon Slayer. Now, the fourth reason why Spy is a terrible class is because the armor is terrible. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you saw this one coming because the armor itself has little to no defense. I think it has like... I think like one fourth of the HP of a Sigil Knight. And on top of that, the, the wall climb speed is actually just slightly, you know, faster than Tundra Ranger. I mean, I think like Tundra Ranger is like 0.3 and Spy Armor is 0.32. So you, know, so, you know, it's already just a worse version of Faceless Armor, has less HP, has less wall climb, etc., etc. It's just overall terrible armor. It has little to no region. I think it has slower region than Sigil Knight, which is one of the most busted you know armor in the game but it has no region which is its only counter this armor might actually have less region than that and you know that itself is stupid i mean at least have good armor if you're gonna have bad offense i mean good defense over good offense you know it's like a little saying i don't remember what it was but you know then you guys may go like you know oh faceless has you know worse uh, armor or has less regen or well faceless has ether strike Faceless has Bane, and Faceless has Shadowfen. You know, so when you compare it to the polar opposite of the class, which is supposed to be Shinobi and Faceless, those move they have so many moves open to them that they can actually rely on. While Spy is just two moves. And it's just really stupid. The fact that, you know, like Faceless has a reason to have no defense. Shinobi has a reason to have little to no defense because they have crazy good offense. But she, Spy doesn't have good offense or defense. They're both garbage. And that itself is completely stupid. Now, you know, some people are completely stupid. And they don't know how to counter being disarmed. But, you know, as I said earlier, you can just put away your weapon. And that completely counters Spy's entire, you know, moveset, really. Because once you disarm them, you're going to have them... You're going to be on them, basically, once you have, if you have a Sapphire enchant. But, like, again, that's, like, one of the only good things about Spy. But... Some of the nerfs to Spy make zero sense to me, you know? Like, a good example is when they nerfed Elga Slash. They made it where it doesn't proc anymore. This, this, this actually had me heated. Because the fact is, there's moves like Wraith Knight's um, AoE Black Flame move, which is newly added, I know, but they basically get... Uh, they basically knock you back, but the thing about it is, it actually gives you a normal burn effect on top of the black flame effect. Meaning you can, you have to roll to unignite that shit, and on top of that, it stacks with the black flame. Now that's stupid. If they, if they're really against proccing enchants, why can't you just let us proc fire on our elegant slash to do more damage or even poison? You know, that would actually be a lifesaver and it would make elegant slash a really good move to use. But instead, we have things like Shadow Fan into Ethor Strike, which takes 70% of an Abyss Walker's HP. But they don't want to spy doing decent damage. Like, this, these nerfs make absolutely no sense. And ever since this said nerf, Spy's just been getting gutted over and over and over again. At best, like, the only good thing they added since then was Spy Armor. Otherwise, Spy is just completely garbage, and it's gotten little to no buffs recently. Now, that's about it for this video, boys. I know it's kind of short and, you know, um, but I just felt like, you know, these reasons are one of the main reasons why Spy is bad. And I know a lot of you guys might counter-argue it, say, you know, Dragon Sage is worse than Spy. But Dragon Sage actually has some offensive moves that it can rely on. It has mobility to it. And on top of that, well, actually, no, its armor is complete garbage, but it's better than Spy's, in my opinion. And... You know, there, so I genuinely can't really think of a single class that's worth, worse than Spy. And the previous contester for me was Wraith Knight. I always thought Wraith Knight was pretty bad. But once they added this new move, my opinion on that has completely changed. So that's why I'm just deeming Spy one of the worst Ultra classes in the game. And it's completely my opinion. Some of you guys may agree, some of you, may, some of you guys may disagree. 
but either way you know leave that in the comments um what you think is the worst ultra give a reason to it don't just be like yeah you're stupid oni's the worst xd like that's just a dumb reason but anyway that's it for this video boys make sure to like subscribe and comment anyway peace out